What's good guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to properly stabilize your footage. This isn't like the proper way to stabilize your footage, but this is just the way I do it. All right, so there's three main ways to achieve stable footage. Those include a steady hand, a gimbal, and some editing software. All right, so I'm gonna shoot some handheld footage and some gimbal footage, then we're gonna take it into the editing software. I'm gonna show you guys the tricks that I use. Of course the gimbal shots are going to look heaps better than the handheld shot straight out of the camera but now I'm going to take you guys into some software, show you guys the editing tricks that I use to make the gimbal shots look even better than they already are and hopefully make the handheld shots look more cinematic and actually usable. Now we're in the editing software and I'm going to show you the example with the gimbal footage first. Now of course you can just straight up add warp stabilizer onto the footage, that's what most people do and yeah it does work sometimes but what I'm going to do is kind of a step further to help the stabilizer in a way do its job better. So what we're going to do is punch in the scale to 100 110, then go down to the anchor point, click the stopwatch to add a keyframe, and then we're gonna try to keep a subject in the video centered with the anchor point. Throughout the entire video, you're gonna keep clicking in keyframes and keeping that one subject in the center. It's kind of a pre-stabilization before you add the warp stabilizer and it helps it a lot. I figured out how to do this whilst I was editing the Brodus music video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Top link in the description. So once you finish adding the anchor point keyframes, you can now right click the footage, nest, and now you can add warp stabilizer onto the footage after you've done all the anchor point keyframes. It just really helps the gimbal footage look even more smooth than it already is. So yeah, now moving over to the handheld footage, it's the exact same. It's just a little bit more tedious because your hands are going all over the place. There's a lot more bringing the anchor point back into the center, but in the end, it definitely works out. And yeah, that is how I stabilize my handheld and gimbal footage. If you put all those three main components together, it really helps out in creating the most stable footage you can possibly get. So yeah, that is how I stabilize my footage, whether it is handheld shot or gimbal shot. If this video helped any of you guys out and you learned something, please consider subscribing. Yeah, if you do have any better techniques, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, if you guys do use this technique, please tag me on Instagram. I want to see what you guys create with it. And lastly, let me know if you want to see any more tutorials like this. Just drop them down in the comments below. And that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please show this with some respect. I'll see you guys in the next one. Back in your past, babe Girl, don't worry, bring it my